good morning teams what's cracking welcome back to another video welcome back to another beautiful monday seven o'clock this morning i have just wrapped up the first two training sessions of the day it is good to be back in routine seeing all my clients again uh and just training again and back in the deficit i'm feeling good i'm feeling motivated so hope you're having a good day hope you're having a good week absolutely hammering out loads of content at the minute so I just feel like I've got a lot to film so I'm going to film the comeback episode 2 today so that's what this video is going to be sit back relax and enjoy let's crack on with the video yeah so you all know if you want to start the video off right we've got to come to the startups uh, I've got an hour off between clients and I've got a lot of admin to do because I've been away for so long. So catch up with the admin for that hour and then I've actually got to come back here for a haircut later. I put the team on my back. I do it all for the family. Everyone that they can rap. Nobody ever go challenge me. Starting my week on a Sunday. And then they can make it a one day. I just been ready to take off. Where did my turn on the wrong way? Never be turning around. Never be turning around. Hey, never be slowing it down. So let's talk what I'm doing post holiday to get back on it in terms of diet, nutrition and fitness. So firstly, I have gone back into my calorie deficit. I am sitting around 2000 calories. My maintenance is about 2425. So I'm in that deficit again and I'm back tracking my calories on my fitness pal. I am also adding in cardio four or five times a week normally 30 minutes to 45 minutes to be honest i've been, been going quietly quite high at the minute just because i want to get back into that state that i was in so back on my cardio the next thing is i just keep my intensity quite high on my training sessions at the minute i am not really pushing heavy weights at the minute i'll get into that when i start my bulk but for the minute the goal is to obviously drop that weight again so it's quite high intensity at a low pace at a fast pace sorry so there are three quick tips that i've been doing to get back on the grind and i'm down already 3.5 kilos a lot of that is water weight but yeah i'm already seeing progress again so that's a good start they're little quick tips for you post holiday to get back on as soon as you get home get back into routine and they'll help you drop that a bit hard holiday weight we are back in Wiley, this time to get fixed up on the old lid. I need to get a fresh old cut since being back on a holiday. Also going to hook Al up with uh, Roy Curry Fitness tea. Just because he's been my barber from time and he's a top bloke and uh, I think he deserves a hoodie. So uh, I'm going to go in. It's actually Barber's on the square now and used to be in Bishop's Waltham. This is a brand, brand new one opened. If you're ever in the sort of Wiley area and you're looking for a haircut, go to that, ask for Alex, he's a top bloke and does a solid job. So yeah, let's go in. This is sort of the before lid. Let's go in and see what he does. Never be turning around, never be turning around, hey. Never be slowing it down, never be slowing it down, hey. I keep my foot on the gas, I keep my foot on the gas, hey. I know I'm never gonna crash, I know I'm never gonna crash, hey. Everyone making excuses, I've been busy making music. They just wanna see me fall off, know that I'm never gonna lose it. Got a dick to the chase now. Right then, that is a fresh haircut. Massive shouts to Al. He always hooks up a good one, takes his time, does a solid job. So like I said, if you're in that Whiteley area, go to the Barbers on the Square. It's a new shop just open. Ask for Alex, he'll sort you out. Also, just getting a new member of the RC Fitness fan. What the flip is that about? together we have the Jordan 4 Levi collab the 10-year collaboration first of all the box is clean let's do this together Jordan's collab with Levi the black denim Jeez. 
Talk to me then. Thoughts on the black denims. Now they are very, very different. Very, very out there. This is a sort of a collectible shoe. Um, and to be honest, I'm not even too keen on design, if I'm being brutally honest. I prefer the white ones. The black ones were the only ones I could get my hands on. So I've definitely picked them up. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them, resell them or what. Give me your thoughts on the black denim Levi collab. Right, and as we're on the topic of new trainer heat, I picked up another two pairs last month. So I thought I'd just show you them while we're on the topic. And if you sort of like the trainer or the clothing sort of style of the videos, or when I talk about it in the videos, make sure you let me know down below or thumbs up the video so I'll do it more because I, I enjoy obviously talking to my trainer. So, picked up the 270s. Now, I actually picked these up on Depop for a bit of a steal. £80 for... These are the Universal Gold. These are the first ones to ever release. And you can't buy them now in stores. When I went out to America, you couldn't buy them anywhere there. They've released loads and loads of new colorways these and these are a super cool trainer but i'm even glad i'm more glad that i've got these ones because you can't pick them up anymore and i don't think there's too many of them about so that was the first pickup of last month i also picked up the triple white favorite maxes now these have come on both holidays with me and they're already looking a little bit beat but these are a bit of a gym trainer for me or a weaving worm to work and stuff like that so these are proper comfortable i don't know i they're up there with the racers to be fair, they're very comfortable. So yeah, two new pairs to join. That really annoys me. Two new pairs to join the sneaker fam. I've been making a lot of content. So I'm not really in a video tonight. I've got one ready to go for Wednesday and then I'll probably put this one live Saturday. Am I putting out too much content? Like, can you keep up or do you just click on the ones you want to watch or should I just slow it down and go back to one or two a week? Also, let me know in the comments. But I'm just enjoying making content, so I want to film as much as I can. So, I suppose if I'm enjoying it, I should keep on doing it. So, I hope you're enjoying it as well. Yes, team, good morning. What's cracking? It is the next day. It is the day England play Columbia. Well, I'm absolutely buzzing. I've got my England shirt in here ready. I've actually had personal training all morning and I've cancelled all my sessions for the evening so I can watch the footy with the boys because World Cup happens every four years and I want to watch it to be honest. So yeah, up the England. I am about to head into Southampton. I need to go to Jessup's to try and fix the camera because as you know, we're vlogging straight into the camera. There's no flip up screen, it's not working. So hopefully we can sit, fix that. Might even think about getting an upgrade. So that's the game plan. Then it's coffee and admin. And then it's fucking England, so sit back, relax, enjoy. I think we've rolled into the next vlog. Right, just got into Southampton and team. You know what I was thinking? I'm actually so lucky, like, being able to work for myself and arrange when I work and when I don't, like, like obviously not working tonight, I managed to just move all my sessions around. And I think I've got to go down. And yeah, it was quite easy, and my clients all really laid back, so yeah, moving all my sessions around. But, I worked in a job, like I say, whether it's retail or something like that, you probably couldn't shop your shifts around. If you got put on the Indian game shifts, you work in the Indian game, so it just gave me a bit of like, oh yeah, I'm doing what I love and I get to enjoy things as well, like holidays and stuff like that, without having to worry, so it's so ideal really. Right, let's go and fix this poppy of a camera. Fingers crossed, it's there and then jobby. 20 minutes later. Right, so we are back on the iPhone. Jessup have just taken the camera. They said it should be a quick little fix and they'll send it out right today. So fingers crossed we'll have it back by the end of the week. It's supposed to be on Monday today. It's Monday. Is it Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. So fingers crossed we'll have it back by the end of the week. Like I said, I'm not going to let that stop me. If we've got any good content, I'll be bringing it to you from the iPhone. So in this, so we'll wrap up the video here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Oh, one thing that that I did want to say is that the difference between sort of this cut, this little mini cut before I start my bolt, and the last one when I was cutting for holiday and summer shredding, this is going to be a lot more relaxed. Obviously, I had an end date for then. This, I don't have an end date. Where it's summer, we've got a lot of things on, friends and family barbecues, it's best birthday. It's just a lot going on, England playing in the World Cup, so we're going out for drinks quite a lot, and food and stuff like that, so I'm not going to be super, super strict that I can't, do anything like that so this but this cut is going to be different to how i've cut before so fingers crossed it's just as good but slower um and an enjoyable one so hope you like this video if you have any questions let me know 
hopefully i'll see you in the next one peace out